So I assume you already know the basics of ninja bridging, otherwise click the video in the card right up there. If you only want to know how to Schneller bridge, skip to this timestamp, but I also have some quick tips, so please do watch until the end. So I'm not sure how effective this is, but basically you probably do not want your FOV to be at 30 Norv Quake Pro, especially not Quake Pro, because if you're trying to do this at Quake Pro, you can actually it can actually be a little bit hard to you know, really distinct the edges of the block properly, and you might accidentally go a little bit above or below. And I think if, and if you try and do it at like 30 FOB, it could probably just really throw you off. So I recommend for most people probably try to do something around like maybe 70 to 80. If you have trouble trying to get used to new FOVs, what I do is just barely like decrease your FOV or increase it just barely, probably a unit of like 5 or 10 if you're feeling comfortable. And I would basically aim for the 70 to 80 range. According to many people, you actually want to be looking closer to the very edge of the top of the block, so you want to be doing it more so like this. Point is, you don't want to be looking at the bottom of the block. I personally do like the middle or a little bit above the middle. So probably on a good day, I could do it maybe like this fast. I know I'm not the world's best bridger, but I'm gonna direct you to someone like Lou Cape's little tutorial, or I'll link a couple different uh, tutorials for this method called Schneller Bridging, which is basically the same thing as Ninja Bridging, except you're trying to hold down your sneak key for as little time as possible. So I mean, for me personally, this is really hard, so what I try and do first is you get really used to like doing it on the ground where you just tap it. You just tap, tap, tap. By the way, you can probably do this on either single player or high pixel. I know people argue about like the ping issue. Um, it doesn't really affect how you learn to bridge. I personally like doing it in single player, but if you just feel like doing it on high pixel, go for it. Also, you can try and build maybe like a little bridge here. And what you can do is just hold backwards and right or backwards and left and try and just learn to tap your sneak key for as little as possible. And you can eventually maybe learn to do it a little bit like this. It's definitely something I would like to practice more because it's even faster than Breezley bridging, believe it or not. But yeah, these are kind of reaching the limits of how much I can teach you how to ninja bridge faster. But I can just mostly direct you to learning how to Schneller bridge. Because I think this is just about as fast as Ninja Bridging can get. Anyways, I hope you guys did find this helpful. If you want to see more tutorials like this, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and enable notifications so you don't miss a video from me. And I will see you guys in the next video.